Hi Yogi, welcome to my channel, Angela Lee Yoga. My name is Angela. Today's practice is the second part of my five element series. Last week we did fire and this week is prithi or earth. If this is your first time here, no worries. You can practice this with me and go back to do the fire practice at your own time. We'll begin in a comfortable seat option to place a cushion or a block under your glutes for extra comfort. Sit up tall with your spine straight, shoulders fully relaxed, hands on your knees, palms facing down for a more grounding feeling. Once you are ready, simply close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale through your nose, filling your lungs with air, and exhale through your mouth, releasing any tension that's lingering. <sighs> the earth element is a very grounding element connecting with the root chakra, so this practice We'll focus on staying grounded through meditation, pranayama, and asanas. Direct your attention to the base of your spine where the root chakra is located. Picture a radiant red light at this energy center. See this light growing brighter and more expansive with each breath filling the area with a sense of security and stability. Picture roots growing and reaching deep into the soil, anchoring you to the stable energy of the earth. Visualize these roots as a vibrant and glowing network connecting you to the core of the planet. Feel the grounded energy of the earth beneath you, providing a stable foundation for your practice. Allow yourself to absorb these qualities into your being. Inhale deeply. Imagine that you are drawing up the earth's energy through your roots and into your body. Feel the nourishing and grounding energy fill you with each breath. you exhale, release any tension or stress down through your roots and into the earth. Let go of anything that no longer serves you. Allow it to be absorbed and transformed by the earth. Next, I'll guide you through a few rounds of four-part breaths or box breathing. Simply breathe for a count of four, hold for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, and hold for a count of four. So exhale where you are, and we'll begin. Inhale, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one.
open your eyes and find Tadasana Mountain Pose at the front of the mat. Root evenly through all four corners of your feet. Feel the earth under your feet supporting your entire being. Belly tucked into your spine. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Palms shining forward. Say this mantra either out loud or internally. I am grounded, stable, and secure. I am grounded, stable, and secure. Good. Hands on your hips, press into the ball of your right foot, lift the heel, try not to sway the ankle. Now press onto the top of the right foot. Notice the sensation in this stretch brings. Beautiful. Invite some ankle rolls first. Roll your ankle in one direction. And then the other. Now switch foot. Press onto the ball of the left foot. Flip and press onto the top of the left foot. Release and roll your ankle in one direction. Then the other. Good. Hands extended out in front of you. Roll your wrist in one direction. Then the next. Good. Give it a good shake. <sighs> Reach your hands to the sky. Right hand grabs onto the left wrist and pull it toward the right. Left foot steps behind. Bend into the right knee to deepen the st side stretch. Breathe in deeply. And side out. Good. Switch side. Left hand grabs a hold of the right wrist. Pull it towards the left. Right foot steps back. Bend into the left knee. Breathe into the right side body. Feel the expansion between your ribs. Beautiful. Come back to neutral. Arms extend it by your side. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, twist over to the right. Look past your right fingertips. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, twist over to the left. Look past your left fingertips. Good. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, to Dasana. Let us flow through three rounds of sun breaths. Inhale, reach for the sky and exhale, swan dive down to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach for the sky and exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach for the sky, and exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach, and exhale, Tadasana. Good, let us flow. Inhale, reach for the sky, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back into plank. Inhale, shift forward an inch and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bicep spin by your ears. Push your heart towards your thighs. Spine is straight. Take a full breath in and a full breath out.
Release your knees to the mat. Walk your hands forward until you can melt your head and your heart to the mat. Puppy pose. Feel the stretch into your shoulders. If you want to take this further, place two blocks under your elbows. Bend at the elbows, thumbs on the back of your neck. If you do not have two blocks, just simply bend at the elbows. Whichever variation you are in, breathe. If you had blocks under, remove them now. Thread your right hand under the left underarm. Rest on your right cheek and ear. Your left hand can reach over or you can bring it in a half bind on your lower back. Gently push into the right hip and breathe. into the left hand and come up thread the left hand under the right underarm whichever variation you did earlier do the same on this side push gently into the left hip breathe into where you feel the stretch the most Beautiful. Push to come up. Slide forward until you are on your belly. Rest on your forearms. Chest lifted. Sphinx pose. Press gently onto the top of your feet. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. On the inhale, Lift your legs off the mat, engage your glutes, lift your thighs, extend your arms forward, reaching through your fingertips, locust pose. Your heart is shining forward. Hold this for a full breath in and a full breath out. Good, let it go. Tuck your feet, arms by your ribs, Push the mat away from you, hips up and back, Adho Mukha Shavasana, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky, flex the foot, exhale, step it between your palms, inhale, brace your core to rise, spin the back heel down about 45 degrees to the top left corner of the mat. Stack your right knee over the ankle, reach for the sky, warrior one. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands on your hips, maybe you step the back foot in a few inches, straighten out the front leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold from the hips over the front leg. Hands can be on blocks, on the shins or on the mat, pyramid pose. Inhale to find length and exhale. See if there's room to fold deeper. Good. Plant your palms on the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left downward facing dog. Inhale. Extend your left leg up to the sky. Flex the foot. Exhale. Step it between your palms, embrace your core as you inhale to rise. Spin the back heel down 45 degrees to the top right corner of the mat. Stack your left knee over the left ankle, reach for the sky, warrior one. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands on your hips, maybe you step the back foot in a few inches, straighten out the front leg, inhale, lengthen 
exhale, fold from the hips over the front leg. Hands on blocks, on the shins or on the mat. Pyramid pose. Inhale to find length. And exhale, explore a deeper fold if that's comfortable. Beautiful. Flatten your palms on the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Down dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up. And exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Reach for the sky, maybe you look up. Exhale, melt further into the pose. Inhale, hands on the hips. Step the back foot in, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold from the hips, pyramid pose. Option to use blocks here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant your left hand on a block, on your shin or on the mat. Right hand reaches for the sky, revolved triangle. Think about squaring your hips to the front of the mat and at the same time shine your heart to the sky. This, especially for me, is a very challenging pose. So please use blocks if needed. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Plant your palms on the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Downward facing dog. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, warrior one, reach for the sky. Maybe you look up. Exhale, melt further into this pose. Inhale, hands on your hips. Square your hips, step the back foot in a bit. Lengthen through your spine, front leg is straight. Exhale, fold, pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant your right hand on a block or on your shin. Left hand reaches for the sky, revolved triangle. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Shine your heart to the sky. Belly is tucked into your spine. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Plant your palms on the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Sorry, left foot back to meet the right. Downward facing dog. Let's add more fun to the sequence. Inhale, extend your right leg up. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, exhale, melt into a warrior one. Inhale, hands on your hips, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold over the front leg, pyramid pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, plant the left hand down, right hand reach for the sky, revolve triangle. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Look at about 8 inches in front of you, plant your right hand there. Engage your core and extend your left leg up. Your chest and your hips are all now facing the left side. Half moon pose. Flex into the left foot. Look down towards your right fingertips to help you stabilize. If you want to challenge your core and balance, look over to the left. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Stay here if that's enough or bend into the left knee. Left hand grabs a hold of the left foot. Kick the foot into the hand. Sugar cane pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Gently release the hold of the left foot, hands back on the mat. Draw the left foot next to the right. Allow your upper body to drape over your thighs. Forward fold. Maybe you grab opposite elbows. Maybe you sway side to side. 
nodding the head yes, shaking the head no. Good. Inhale, root to rise, reach for the sky. Exhale, swan dive down to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, hop back into plank. Inhale, shift forward an inch. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let us find the sequence on the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise. And exhale, melt into warrior one. Inhale, hands on the hips. Lengthen the spine. Straighten out the front leg. Exhale, fold over. Pyramid pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, plant the right hand down, left hand reach for the sky, revolved triangle. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Look at about 8 inches in front of you, plant your left hand there. Engage your core and extend your right leg up. Your chest and hips are all now facing the right side. Half moon pose. Root down through your standing leg. Feel the earth beneath you supporting you. Keep your gaze down to stabilize or over to the right to challenge your balance. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Stay here if that's enough or bend into the right knee. Right hand grabs a hold of the right foot. Kick the foot into the hand, sugar cane pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Gently release the hold of the left foot, sorry, right foot. Hands back to the mat. Draw the right foot next to your left. Allow your upper body to drape over your thighs, forward fold. Maybe you grab opposite elbows. Maybe you sway side to side, nodding your head yes, shaking your head no. Good. Inhale, root firm to rise, reach for the sky, and exhale, swan dive down to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back to plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, what up dog, and exhale, down dog. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, back foot is parallel to the shorter edges of the mat, arms extended, warrior two. Your left knee is stacked over the left ankle. Your back leg is strong and engaged. Tug your belly into your spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands on your hips. Spin your feet and your body over to the right side of the mat. Heels in, toes out. Knees are in, in line with your toes. Bend into the knees, goddess pose. Arms are in cactus shape. Maybe you press your thumb to your index chin mudra keep lengthening through your spine shoulders down and away from your ears take a full breath in and a full breath out hands on your hips spin your feet so they are now parallel inhale get tall exhale folds from the hips Hands can be on the shins on the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. Walk your hands back to the right and frame the right foot. Inhale to rise. Bend into the right knee, warrior two. 
you should be now facing the back of the room. But don't worry, I'll guide you back in no time. Inhale, reach your right hand for the sky. Left hand slides down the left leg, reverse warrior. Inhale, rainbow the hands back, straighten out the right leg. Keep reaching the right hand forward until you cannot and release it to the shin on the mat. Left hand reaches for the sky. Chikanasana, triangle pose. Think of shining your heart to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Windmill your hands up, right hand reach for the sky, left hand slides down the left leg, reverse triangle. Hands spin back to the mat, framing the right foot. Step the right foot back, find plank. Inhale, shift forward and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, what up dog? Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale to rise, warrior two. Left foot is parallel to the shorter edges of the mat. Right knee stacked over the right ankle. Breathe in, breathe out. Pivot so you're now facing your left. Heels in, toes out. Root down through your feet. Bend into the knees, goddess pose. Rather than cactus arms, bring them in prayers. Anjali mudra. Feel the root chakra activated here in order to balance. Now place your hands on the knees and push to straighten out your right arm, stretching into the right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Release and straighten out the left arm, stretching onto the other side. In, breathe out. Good. Hands on your hips. Spin your feet so they're now parallel. Inhale. Stand tall. Exhale. Fold from the hips. Hands can be on the shins or on the mat. Inhale to lengthen and exhale. Fold. Walk your hands over to the front of the mat, framing the left foot. Inhale to rise, warrior two. Right foot is parallel to the shorter edges of the mat. Left knee stacked over the left ankle. Send your gaze past your left fingertips. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, left hand reaches for the sky. Right hand slides down the right leg. Reverse warrior. Exhale, straighten out your left leg. Reach forward and down. Left hand on the shin on the mat. Right hand reaching for the sky. Triangle pose. Shine your heart up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Windmill your hands up. Reverse triangle. Hands back to the mat, framing the left foot. Step the left foot back and find plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, what up dog? Exhale, down dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Walk your hands back to meet the feet. Heels in, toes out, sit your hips down. Malasana Yogi Squat. Use your elbows to gently press the knees open. Hands at your heart, Anjali Mudra. Option to sit on blocks or on the toes if this is uncomfortable. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Maybe you close your eyes. Allow Malasana to connect you to the earth. To feel grounded in this present moment. Good. 
Walk your hands towards the front of the mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it between your palms. Inhale, engage your core here. Root firmly through your right foot to come up to your one-legged stand. Use your hands to guide your left foot. Rest it on the right shin or the inner right thigh. Tree pose. Avoid the knee joint. You do not want to risk injury here. Find a drishti or a focal point to help you maintain balance. This will also help to center your mind and align with the earth element. Option here to extend your hands to the sky, expanding your tree or bring them into prayers. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Extend the left leg back, hands on the mat, Drop the back knee down, low lunge. Now drop the right ankle between your left wrist, right knee down, pigeon pose. Adjust so you're evenly distributed through both hips. Stay here if this is enough, or fold down, resting your head on the mat or on your hands. Take five deep breaths here. into the mat to send the right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale, step it between your palms. Root firmly through the left foot to stand. Find tree pose on the other side. Whichever variation you did earlier, do the same on this side. Find your drishti point and center your mind your heart, and your breath. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Extend the right leg back, hands on the mat, drop the back knee down, low lunge. Drop the left ankle behind the right wrist, pigeon pose. Readjust here so you're evenly distributed through both hips. Stay here if this is enough or fold down. Rest your head on the mat or on the palms. Hip openers can bring up a lot. So simply give yourself the time and space to sit with whatever that may come up. Inhale. And as you exhale, release what is no longer serving you. Push into the mat to stand the right leg back, downward facing dog. Allow your knees to drop to the mat, melt your hips onto your heels, child pose. Feel the earth under you, supporting your entire being. Come home to your breath.
push into the mat to come up and find a seat. Legs extended out in front of you. Squish the fleshy part of your glutes until you're seated evenly on your sitting bones. Sit up tall through your spine. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Flex into the feet. Close your eyes. Good, inhale, reach for the sky, and exhale, fold from the hips, allow your hands to rest wherever that's accessible to you. Let this be as passive as you can, surrendering to the earth, allow gravity to do the work for you, and breathe. to come up nice and slow bend into the knees and allow the right knee to stack over the left draw your feet towards your glutes go Mukasana cow face pose sit evenly through both sitting bones spine is long and tall now bend at the elbows and wrap the left under the right binding once or twice Keep the shoulders down, elbows up, and move the palms away from your face. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach your arms up as much as you can as you arc your back. Find a slight back bend. And release your arms, release your legs. Maybe you find some windshield wiping motion with your knees here to reset your sacrum. Good. Now stack the left knee over the right. Go Mukasana on the other side. Sit up tall through your spine. Wrap the right elbow under the left, binding once or twice. Remember, the emphasis is shoulders down, elbows up, and palms away from the face. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach your arms up as you arc your back. Find a slight back bend. And release your arms, release your legs. Maybe you find some windshield wiping motions again, resetting your sacrum. Good. Lay down on the mat, draw your knees in towards your heart center. Give yourself a big, big squeeze. Maybe you sway side to side, massaging the lower back. Keep the right knee in, left leg extended. Use your left hand to guide the right knee across, supine twist. Your right arm is in cactus shape. Maybe you gaze over to the right. Maybe you close your eyes. Allow yourself to melt into this nurturing twist. twist, hug the left knee in, right leg extended, use the right hand to guide the left knee across, twist on the other side.
beautiful. Extend your legs out as wide as you like them to be. Arms by your side. Take up space as you come to your final resting pose, Shavasana. Close your eyes and take a moment to settle into the mat. Bring awareness to the contact your body makes with the earth beneath you. Feel the support of the ground beneath your heels, hips, shoulders, and head. Allow your body to relax completely. Soften your facial muscles. Release tension from your neck and shoulders. And let go of any holding in your hips and thighs. Shift your awareness to the base of your spine where the root chakra is located. Envision a glowing red energy center here, radiating warmth and stability. Allow your mind to come to a place of stillness. If thoughts do arise, acknowledge them without judgment and just gently bring your focus back to your breath and the present moment.
to deepen your breath, gently waking up the body, first by wiggling your fingers, then your toes. Stretchiest stretch. <sighs> Turn to your favorite side. Take your time. Push into the palms to come up and find a seat. With palms at your heart, Anjali Mudra, gently close your eyes. Take a moment to reflect on your practice. Set an intention to carry the grounding energy of this practice into your daily life, cultivating stability and rootedness in all your endeavors. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I look forward to see you again next practice for the element of jiao or water. May your day be happy, healthy, and full of love. Until we meet again on the mat, namaste. If you have any questions or feedback, do not hesitate to leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you back on our next element, water, which I will release next week. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when the release is. If you know a friend or a family member that can benefit from this, please share. Let's practice together soon.